Here at the end of the year, I know you may be getting some pledges in, some prepayments on your pledges, especially if you are a church where they, the donor wants to take the tax, tax deduction in the current year, so they prepay their next year's pledge. And I'm going to show you how an easy way to record this so that it will show up on your donor acknowledgement forms correctly, but it won't show up as income yet because it's not. I want to caveat this with if you are a member of a larger organization or you have to feed information into a parent organization, be sure and check with them first to make sure this is consistent with how they like to handle prepaid pledges. For starters, we're going to need to set up a new account in our chart of accounts and we're going to need to set up a new product service. So I'm here in the list. I got to it via the settings and all lists. First, I'm going to go to my chart of accounts and I need to set up a prepaid pledge. I've already got it set up here, so I'm going to open it up for you to see. And this is the important part. It's not an income. It is a current liability. And I'm going to save and close that. Next, I want to go back to my lists and I want to go to products and services. Here, we're going to add new, which is right up here, but because I've already set it up, I have my prepaid pledge here. And what it is, it's a, you treat it as if it's a sales information, but you show income account. You don't actually put it to an income account. You put it to that new liability that we just set up. And then we save and close that. Now, let's go to our sales here. And we have Earnest Air here. And Earnest Air has given us a $10,000 prepaid pledge. He gave us this on December 30th. So we put it to this prepaid pledge, which is automatically going to put it on the balance sheet, and treat it as a sales receipt. So the key things here is to remember, go to sales receipt to input it and use the date that you actually received it. All right, and we're going to save and close that. When we go to reports, if we do our sales by customer detail, which is how we run our donor acknowledgement forms, you can see Ernest Ear here for the year 2017 has that $10,000 listed as a prepaid pledge. We can look on our, on our income statement, sorry, statement of activities or a profit and loss. I'm going to put it as a cash basis here. You can see as our pledges and offerings, that is not in there because it's on the balance sheet instead of the income statement. Okay, I'm going to go to my reports and I'm going to look at my balance sheet. Or you can see down here, we have our unearned revenue and prepaid pledges at $10,000. So now everything's okay for the end of 2017. Now let's go into 18. And Ernest here has already given us a check, right? but we need to record the income. So what I like to do is take all of my pledges that have been coming in for the previous year and input them all as invoices at, with a January 1 date. And so if I come here to Ernest, here I've got my invoice here for him with a pledge offering. Now keep in mind, this is the normal place you would put your pledge offerings. You could put his in just like you do everybody else's. And once it gets in there, then he's going to show a $10,000 balance. But we know he doesn't have that balance. So next is we're going to issue him a credit memo. So under Customer, Create Customers and Credit Memo, we go into Earnest for our credit memo. We want to make sure the date is the new year. I'd like to make it also January 1, so it ties to the other uh, amount we had. And uh, the credit memo is going to go to the prepaid pledge, not the pledge income, because we want to show the pledge income still there. So we're going to take it against that prepaid pledge. 
and this is to allocate. You're going to make sure you have this exact amount that was donated. Always use the correct class. And now I'm going to hit save. And when I do, and once I have saved it, it will then bring me out here and I can come over to my customers tab here and I see that Ernest Air has a zero balance. So it has automatically allocated it to that. Now let's go look at the financial statements for to the following year. I want to go to the balance sheet, change it for the next year. And you can see the unpaid revenue or unearned revenue, the prepaid pledge is now gone. If I look at my P&L, you can see I have my pledge income is showing up here. I guess there's my pledge income from Ernest Air. And uh, so it, now it's reflecting in this year. So that's how you can handle the prepaid pledges in QuickBooks Online.